Well, hello and welcome to Laura's Fandora. Today I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful white paper wig. See? You can see there's some jewels. Okay. <clears throat> Two. You may think, why, Laura, why would you need such a wig? Well, <clears throat> I'm in a book club and it was my month to pick the book and I picked The Scarlet Pimpernel. And of course The Scarlet Pimpernel is all about the French Revolutionary War and around that time they wore white wigs sort of thing. So I thought it would be funny to have the ladies come and be greeted by a white wig lady. I didn't want to spend too much money on, you know, uh, buying, you know, fibered white wigs sort of thing. So I just went to the store and got some poster board, some hot glue, and I just used this kind of jeweled belt that I already had. And of course, the structure inside is all cardboard. So, pretty awesome. Let me show you how I made this wig. I started out with, of course, drawing out my design that I wanted. I wanted some sideburns, some curls all the way around, and curls in the back, sort of thing. And I wanted two layers, two layers and then some sort of decorative piece on top. So in my drawing, I have a little bow. And then I drew out kind of the structure inside of like the cardboard. So, <clears throat> it's um, pretty sturdy around my face, sort of thing, and then cardboard for the structure, and then cardboard for the second, second layer. So what I did is I just started cutting out about two inches of cardboard strips, a bunch of them. And I wrapped the first strip around my head, and I did it at an angle, so it would sit higher up on my forehead and lower down on my neck part. So I measured that, hot glued it, so it was just, just snug, not too like tight, but enough to um, fold some paper under and my hair wouldn't, you know, get pinched or... So I kind of rounded out the cardboard, made sure there was no like sharp edge points or anything like that. And then I created a cage, so I did a strip here and a strip here, and then I did strips across here for more structural support, and hot glued that all together. Okay, then I created the second cage that goes on top. I didn't attach it, because I want to attach all the paper on first, and then put kind of the crown top on top sort of thing. So another strip around, strip on top to create that kind of cage look. Hmm, yes, hot glued it all together. Okay, so this wig took two poster boards and I just cut them in strips, about an inch and a half strips all the way across. So I just cut all of them, cut all the strips, and then I started placing them. I went overlapped the cardboard and hot glued it so that I could fold the paper underneath and hot glue that. And then I just started gluing, placing, gluing, place, gluing. And I kind of started the, the side, both sides, and then I met up at the middle. So the middle strip is kind of the end piece. Then I left this back open because that's the next step, is adding the curls. So the next step would be rolling those poster board strips and hot gluing the curls to the back. So I did about four uh, layer, four levels. One, two, and three, and four. <clears throat> and hot glued it all together. So you can glue the curls together, but then you can also glue them to the cardboard for more structural support up the smaller the curls were. So at the bottom, giant curls, and then smaller, 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 all the way up to the top. And then of course around here 
I did smaller curls, smaller curls. I folded all the extra paper underneath and hot glued it, and then smaller curls. Then I placed it on my head and figured out where I wanted to put the sideburns and just did curls gluing together. So hot glued here, together, 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 and then at the rim part. And then the front curl, the front curl is two curls. You can see a smaller curl inside and then a rather large bang curl sort of thing. Okay, so I just kind of re repeated the process for the top cage um, structure. So I did a bunch of strips all the way around and I didn't do any curls. I just did a bunch of strips and then I wrapped it with a jeweled belt and it's not glued, it just tied it and put a bow in the back and left the long ribbon-like belts in the back. So once I got the top cage done, then I glued the two pieces together. So really the costs were just the two poster boards, the cardboard, the glue, the hot glue, and what other, whatever kind of jewel belt thing that I had. And that is how I made this fabulous white wig. And let me just... Hey, so if you have a event to go to that's all fancy French white wig sort of party, then this is kind of the route I would go very fancy and you can make it as big as you want. You can even put a boat on on top or something like that, you know. And so I hope this helps you. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, or if you're dressing up for some school project or Halloween or anything like that, this is the way to go for creating a cheap, inexpensive, but very Wow, I pop in wig, white wig. I hope this helps and please subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.